in the aftermath of raging out over the last 48 hours of chaos, it suddenly dawned on me that we still have a whole last 17 game regular season to go. As this video is brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, do we choose to, as Vikings fans, go down the road of moping, bitching, moaning week after week? Asked me that 12 hours ago, I would say I don't have a problem with that at all, but got some good rest. Or you can choose to go down the road of, all right, let's just salvage this as best as we can and make the most of it. Make no mistake about it. I'm not here to sell fake ass optimism and positivity. I'm never going to do that. This is not a bit. It's more so what other choice do we have? It reminds me of Clark Griswold in Christmas Vacation when after he snapped and the family, the extended family tried to leave the house and he's like, oh, no, 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 no. Where do you think you're all going? We're in this together. Yes, it sucks. However, outside looking in, trying to be objective here because this is really the best I can do at the present moment, we understand that injuries are a byproduct of the sport of football. Every year, if not every other year, some team faces injuries, plural, to key contributors that directly upends their season. Or in some cases, Case Keenum in 2017, for example, with the Vikings, they overcome all adversity and exceed expectations post those key contributing injuries. You look at the totality of everything with, goodness, Makai Blackman tearing his ACL, J.J. McCarthy is out for the year, Jordan Addison suffered a leg injury. I saw that KOC said he believes it's going to be minor. I'll believe it when I see it. But is this a unique situation for the Vikings? Well, in the... Mm, uh, this <laughs> this is actually a poor example in one aspect, but I'm just going to go ahead with it anyway. In the case of J.J. McCarthy, actually, yes, because I saw on Twitter yesterday at some point that J.J. McCarthy is the first either rookie overall or rookie quarterback to miss the entire rookie season start to finish since the early 60s or mid 60s. So in that aspect. Yes, it is unique. However, these injuries, if if it's not the Vikings, it's going to happen to somebody else. So I guess in a weird way, it's like, all right, let's get our turn out the way now so we can have a brighter future. But we have to shift the focus. J.J. McCarthy, he's going to be in the shadows, learning the playbook, and getting ready for 2025. However, there are still some young foundational pieces on this roster right now that I do think has a shot to be key contributors next year in 2025 and beyond. This is just a super developmental year for those players. For example, Dallas Turner, maybe he has a shot to win defensive rookie of the year. He's the replacement to Daniil Hunter. Levi Drake Rodriguez, in my opinion, so far has been the only interior defensive lineman to show anything worth a damn. Bo Richter, the depth that you have at edge rusher with guys like he and Gabe Murphy. Blake Brandle at left guard. Is he the left guard of the future? Hopefully he does a good enough job within his responsibilities of keeping Sam Darnold upright. Jalen Naylor at wide receiver three, who... That in itself is a big job, but he may have an even bigger role in spurts this season with Jordan Addison if he's to miss some time due to injury that KOC is brushing off as minor and or facing the inevitable suspension, whether that happens this year or next, and Ivan Pace Jr. in year two. Turning the page to 2025, it, getting back on that road to where th th something can be there if the football gods just stop hating this organization. That it's not just J.J. McCarthy 
Yes, he's a big part playing the most important position in all of sports quarterback, but it's it's a it's a total team thing. And whatever success that you have moving forward, I think these guys, these key guys, maybe I'm missing some that you guys know of that I didn't think of. Let me know in the comments section below. But at least these guys are going to be key contributors to that, to the future of this team. To where, okay, let's see how they develop this year. Crucial for them. 2024, and this really all comes down to Sam Darnold talking about the team as a whole. They either shock the world and prove everyone wrong and win double-digit games, make it to the playoffs, and dare I say, make a playoff run. Or they stink, and if they stink, that's not necessarily a horrible thing either. Because trying to be positive here, you can pull a Chicago Bears, what they did two years ago, trading a high first-round pick, trading down in the Bears case, doing that with the Carolina Panthers so they could get their franchise quarterback. He really needs to step up. Last year was so bad for him. But you can pull a Chicago Bears, what Ryan Poles did, trading down, stocking up assets, and make this team even better, potentially. Especially with J.J. McCarthy going back. That That's that's the, the best way that I feel that we can salvage what we have left. We still have two preseasons to go, or two preseason, two preseason games to go before the regular season starts. And that's, that's the best that I can do at this point. This video is brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. My bet for this week's game, Vikings versus Browns, I'm going to take the under here, under 36 and a half points. Sign up now with BetUS and get a 125% bonus on your first three deposits up to $2,000. I think this is going to be, A, a defensive battle, even with the second, third team defenses, but also in the case of the Vikings offensively, KOC already said that Sam Darnold is not going to play in this game, so it's going to be Nick Mullins and then Jaron Hall, so it's going to be a cluster bleep. But also, I think it's going to – preseason is all about having a vanilla game plan. I think they're going to dumb it down even more. After – with the state of the current roster and the injuries that they have suffered, I think their goal is Minnesota – Fast forward through the preseason as best as we can to get to the start of week one. We just need to make it out the rest of the way unscathed with the remaining players that we have. So I think it's going to be a low point total sort of battle. Give me under 36 and a half total points. Again, shout out to BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. Please gamble responsibly.